human respiratory system has two parts upper respiratory system and lower respiratory system the upper respiratory system is consist of nasal cavity pharynx larynx while the lower respiratory system is consist of trachea which is also called a windpipe bronchi bronchioles lungs the upper respiratory system is consist of nasal cavity pharynx and larynx while the lower part starts from this trachea windpipe windpipe begins with the bronchi and the bronchi further divided further branched up into bronchioles when air enters the nasal cavity the larger dust particles are trapped by the hairs within the nostrils and they filter that air and the air also become moist and warmer the nasal cavity is supported by network of bones these bones are frontal maxilla nasal ethmoid and vomex second pharynx this pharynx is a muscular membranous tube it serves both as a respiratory and digestive function it acts as a passageway of air and food the pharynx is further divided into three parts nasopharynx oropharynx laryngopharynx larynx the last part of upper respiratory tract this larynx is a complex structure it acts as an airway for respiration it is also called voice box because it helps in sound production this pharynx has two main structure glottis epiglottis
this glottis is the narrowest part of larynx it, it opens up into windpipe and is responsible for sound production during swallowing or deglutition the larynx muscle contract and cause the upward movement of glottis swallowing of food larynx contract causes the upward movement of glottis and downward movement of epiglottis now what is epiglottis so this epiglottis is a leaf shaped cartilaginous structure cartilaginous flap structure which prevent the movement of food to enter the airway passages it is a leaf shaped cartilaginous structure prevent the entrance of food into air passages lower respiratory tract the first part of lower respiratory tract is trachea or windpipe this trachea is a tubular membranous structure this trachea is branched up into bronchi these are the bronchi the structure which enters into the lungs these are the two bronchi this bronchi is further branched into bronchioles next structure is lungs lungs are air filled spongy structure we have two lungs in our body the right lung is bigger than left lung the right lung has three lobes why our left lung has two lobes within the lung these bronchioles are eventually ends up in a cluster of in a cluster of 
microscopic structure which are called alveoli alveoli are the functional and structural unit of lungs and these are the air filled sac sac means pouch these alveoli are surrounded by blood capillaries as these alveoli are full of oxygen the oxygen from alveoli is trapped by the blood capillary and this vessel opened up into larger blood vessel which is called pulmonary vein this pulmonary vein transfer the oxygenated blood to the left atrium of heart here is the structure of alveoli these are surrounded by blood capillaries the mechanism of breathing inhalation in normal condition what happened the air containing more oxygen is inhaled by the nasal cavity and air passages to the lungs while in normal condition in normal exhalation what happens the air containing more carbon dioxide will expelled out from lungs through the same pathway out of the body these taking in of air and taking out through the same pathway is called breathing this is all about the human respiratory system I hope you understand my all lectures kindly like share and subscribe my channel thank you